At number 10, The Grifter's 1990 Deduction, Betrayal Murder, who's counting who was the tagline for this crackling, lovingly crafted film adaptation about a small-time 20-something con man who is in over his head with the two con women in his life, his seductive girlfriend and his steely authoritative mother. At number 9, Careful, 1992, Guy Madden's early masterpiece takes place in the 19th century Alpine village where the wary residents must speak softly and tread lightly less. They cause an avalanche, but sequel frenzies team in this world of repression, setting off incestuous love, triangles, and quadrangles with deadly consequences. Number 8 in a gummy 2001. Akira, a teacher from Tokyo has just arrived in a small rural town to begin his new job. Soon after arriving, he meets and begins to fall for Mickey, a papermaker and part of a large and unusual family. When he learns of an ancient legend that the family carries the curse of the Inagami or Doug God, he brushes it off after a series of mysterious deaths. However, the townspeople begin to grow restless and Akira must confront the truth about Mickey and her face. At number 7, Nito, 2003. The teenager with learning difficulties who has been put into a class with kids younger than him who are always mocking and playing jokes on him. Urged by the ideas they've planted in his head, Nido tries to lose his Number 6, My Mother, 2004. Pierre is a moody 17-year-old who is spending the summer with his parents at their summer home in the Canary Islands. While Pierre isn't especially close to his father, he enjoys a warm relationship with his mother. Ellie, almost too warm as her affection for him, subtly strains the boundaries of typical familial behavior. When Pierre's father dies unexpectedly in an auto accident, his emotional dependence on Ellen grows while her desire for her son does the same though. Pierre finds himself attracted to several girls, his own age while summering on the island, he finds it increasingly difficult to reconcile his curiosity with the growing tension between mother and son. Number 5, See in Your Eyes. In 2007, Ella is unhappy. She lost a husband years ago and is not satisfied with her present life. She has a son from her first marriage, Brian and for years she unconsciously hoped he would replace her deceased companion. Brian always tried to please his mother and to be as much like her idealized memories of his father as he could. It was a mother-son relationship on the verge of, but for unknown reasons, Brian and Ella are no longer on speaking terms. Even though they meet at the dinner parties, she offers once a year at number four, sentimental education, 2030, Aria is a sentimental older woman who is a friend, teenager, and Rio, they like each other, so she talks to him about herself, her spirituality, mysticism, and existence itself, they become inseparable, so his jealous mother confronts her. Her number 3, Roar Mig 2016. Louis has unable to father, a child, and his wife, Sasha has been inseminated artificially as she gives birth to Daniel Lewis has hit with a sense of unbearable sadness and detachment that only grows bigger. As Daniel grows up in the rift between husband and wife grows. Number 2 Noble Savage, 2018 Almost everything in Ali's life of 15 years old boy with eating disorder is on the brink of catastrophe. He lives in a seedy neighborhood with his mother Sema and her father, two ex-junkies, obsessed with living a normative life. In this impulsive and violent world, nothing stays in its natural dimensions, and Ali's desperate efforts to unite. His struggling family spin out of control when a minor family dispute erupts into a cataclysmic disaster, and everyone pays the ultimate price. Number 1, The Prince 2019. Chilling 1970, just before the elections, bringing in data power, Jamie, a narcissistic 20-year-old kills out of jealousy. A guy known as the Gypsy is till then best friend in prison. He has a definitive encounter with the Stallion, an older man who inspires respect and holds the power behind bars. Searching for protection, Jamie develops with the man, a relationship of affection and tenderness discovers love and the need to be recognized, and later becoming the prince finally rethink his identity and the reason for the crime that took him to prison. 